Hello everyone, this is Melissa with Enchanted bringing you a reading here for today. It's just a daily message for our January 11th, 2023, 111, what a beautiful number. Uh, so this is Wednesday and with that 111, I just want to mention that if you are thinking about something, if you're stuck in an energy of like, should I or shouldn't I, this is definitely a yes day for you. This is a definitely get at it, go for it. Um, this is going to work out in your favor. So the card that come up out of the traditional Rider Waite deck for today is the Nine of Wands. So yes, the battle rages on, but listen, you're going to defend yourself right until the end, okay? You are um, really gathering your strength. You're taking a bit of a break, kind of taking stock in what's happened, but you are coming back stronger than ever uh, when you're coming through that final battle to finally reach that goal. And I'm getting big chills with that. So that's awesome energy to sit in with this today. Um, you know, I really see here, uh, you know, I'm getting this energy that there's a power in numbers with this, okay? I feel specifically though, there's a power in numbers with two. Two people, the number two, when we're talking about the number two, this is a very feminine energy. So sitting in your feminine energy, which is the state of surrender, right? Having faith in things working out for you. But this is also about standing in your personal power, right? So there's gonna be some resistance here for you when you're about to reach your goal. So that's what that last battle is really gonna be about. It's about you stepping into that confidence and that strength, that 111 number, right? And so this is a beautiful card to be getting for this. This is really an energy for you to be um, not doubting yourself, right? Really stop tripping, okay? Really stop tripping. Uh, I do feel like there is secrets that maybe you've been keeping and you know i feel like there's this double double toil and trouble energy coming in with that and i think of macbeth how uh you know it's like fighting and climbing your way to the top but at what cost would you be doing that for your success to achieve that success and to achieve your goals so i feel like with that what's coming in with that is like your allies your confidence your, conf your confidence, right, your personal power, and then your confidants, right, like your um, friends, your foes. So really being mindful of who you have at your side, who are you taking with you in that final battle and to that glory, right? So, you know, I feel like success won't be the success that you want it to be unless you have your friends there with you, but I think it's really important to know too that success is what you make of it. So I feel like you're out there, you're scrambling on the battlefield or on the playing field, so to speak, right? You're out there playing football maybe, right? And in and, and the game of life. And so really considering here, like what is your play? What's your status? Are you sitting on the sidelines? Are you letting things happen? Or are you out there making it happen? Are you taking action? Um, and you know, I feel like maybe you're just strategizing on the sidelines at this point with that nine of wands, but that final battle will come. And are you gonna really get out there and be straight savage? Are you gonna go gangster? Um, you know, I really think that that's something to consider here because um, yeah, you wanna be all about them gains. You really wanna be about achieving that success. But in the end, we have to ask ourselves, who is it that we will be leaving behind? And I get like the lyrics with, um, I think it was Kansas something rather that sing this song, uh, but it, their lyrics are, all we are is dust in the wind, right? because we have to also be making it impact while we're here, right? What's meaningful, what's fulfilling for us. And so it's this whole aspect that kind of comes in with it, this spiritual impact that we have versus just about like financial or physical security, monetary gains, things like that. There's a responsibility here for us um, to impact the world. We all have our unique gifts, things that we have to bring and allow the world to have access to so that when we move into eternal energy, we have left a lasting impression on the world or made change or made the world a better place in some way, shape or form, or how are you impacting your allies or your confidants, right? So, you know, I really feel like it's about sitting back and asking yourself, what would my allies say about me? And are you sure about what they would say? Maybe you wanna go ask them, talk to them about this. But I think that um, it's important to be mindful here that s some people, and I think it's just human nature, right? We all have our things 
when people become successful, um, there are people that have a tendency to have some envy toward other people, right? And if you are put in the limelight with that success once you've gotten through that final battle and you are successful, the people behind you, are they still going to be cheering or are they going to secretly be wishing you your demise? And so, you know, if they're bringing in that energy of, of that envy, you know, because it's human nature, we have to be mindful of what we are sharing. So that's where that secrets kind of comes in, right? If you have a strategy, if you have a plan in place, and you know how you're going to achieve it, maybe just be mindful about who you are sharing that information with. Or maybe just keep it secret for a little while and work on it uh, solid by yourself. And until it starts to really take shape and you really start to be successful, until you really start to be um, through the better part of the work of it, right? Where your success is, like inevitable so you know I feel like working through this that that's what this energy too is of the nine of wands is really you might have to defend your values you might have to defend your goals to other people this is ultimately going to increase your resilience right you're going to be coming out on the other side of this but you really have to understand you know you you do want to be able to have someone in your corner at all times you do want to have somebody by your side or someone who has your six right someone who's got your back so, you know, who's your solid number one? Who's your A1? You know, and start to kind of maybe, maybe you want to take stock in things and start to weed out some of your supporters, right? Make sure that you start to understand that as you weed out some of these supporters, you're going to start to create space for energy for those that are com coming in to be cheerleaders, like solid cheerleaders. Um, and it's going to decrease the ability to um, be taken down basically, right? Because when you bring in these supports, I just see this circle formation of everybody like facing the outside and just ready to like ward off any um, attacks, so to speak. So anybody that's coming at you with negative energy, anybody who is jealous, any, you know, all of your supporters and cheerleaders, you all um, have each other's back. And you all are rooting for each other and rooting for each other's success. And so I just love this energy so much. And, and it's great too, because we know it's coming. This is the Wheel of Fortune. It was on the bottom of the deck. Now, um, also, I've been interested in pulling from the Gabrielle, oops, gosh, like breaking everything up here. The Universe Has Your Back deck, the Gabrielle Bernstein deck. And so I pulled it out today and cleansed the deck. And it's amazing energy that comes in with this card. I love this affirmation for us. Um, it says, in every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right-minded thinking and the energy of love. Because if you are surrounding yourself in love, you're feeling supported, you're feeling loved, and you are uh, not allowing any negative thoughts to influence you. And I know that that's kind of rampant right now with this Mercury retrograde. We've got a lot of things happening. Uh, I don't know for, for you guys, but for me personally, I have been experiencing some things that like are coming up like, hmm, hey, this is for examination. Um, understand that it's all purposeful. It's all for us to be able to sit with that energy and confront those things, our doubts, our fears, right? Anything that's holding you back because you just want to be able to excel, to grow, and for ultimate, uh, ultimately to achieve that success that you deserve. So beautiful energy here. I do so hope this reading resonates for you in some way, shape, or form. As always, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're interested in your own personal reading, I'd love to be able to do that for you. You can go ahead and book a session on the Square site in the description box. It's pinned in the description box below here on the YouTube or at the top of the page on My Enchanted on Facebook. Or you can simply email me at enchantedemeraldny at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Take care.